Bears have yet to win on the road this year. It's a short week to add an extra challenge. It is where it is to add another challenge on that. Can you just kind of speak to how tough and how, how much you guys need to ride the occasion? Yeah, I think guys um, are excited to, uh, to play on Thursday um, in a great environment. Um, in, in Pittsburgh, um, you know, it's always great. You know, when you play there, the crowd's into it. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, I think we're just focused on locking in on the details right now, finish up the week. Um, we know we haven't run, we haven't won on the road, and, you know, we know we got to focus better, um, you know, on, on Thursday just so we can come out with a win. You guys take some new swagger with you when the new quarterback comes in and plays himself the way he wills, carries himself with the production and the attitude? I think guys just, uh, you know, it built, built some confidence in that game and a lot of uh, positive things to build off of. Uh, will played great. I think he should be confident. Um, and then everybody uh, overall as a team, you know, did a great job for us to win in this game. And um, it's great to go into another game on a quick week off, coming off a win. What's your advice to Will and the other rookies on going there in that hostile environment on a short week? Um, it's just not home field. Um, it's the same football, it's the same game. Um, you know, just play how you played last Sunday and, and be yourself and let the game come to you and just go out there and play. How do you feel physically and what's the challenge you're playing in just a couple of days from now? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel good. Um, it's just about recovering um, and, um, you know, getting body work done. It's a short week, so you try to get everything in that you that you can and then go out there and play. I mean, I've been – it's my, my, my eighth year, so I'm kind of used to it. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Uh, recover, recover, recover. Uh, you know, game like this, whoever can recover the best, you know, uh, you will have a good possibility of going out and being their best. So just recover, man. How much you feel like that game Sunday maybe gave this team a little bit of a, of a jump start? Um, you know, jump start, kick start, however you want to call it, whatever start. Obviously, we're trying to stack wins, and uh, it's one game at a time. How do you speed that process of recovery up? It you know, normally takes several days to just a couple of years. Uh, you can't speed up recovery, uh, but you can definitely do extra stuff that you usually don't do. Spend less your time in the cold tub, uh, you know, getting your legs ready, however that is. When you're in a loud environment like that, communication is going to be tough. Like how can you and Will work on making sure that it's where it needs to be? Uh, today, starting at practice today, uh, communicating him throughout the whole, uh, you know, trip there. Uh, not just on the practice field, but just communicating him with him uh, in the meeting room like today, and just uh, you know being on the same page. That nonverbal part of it, though, how do you develop that? Uh, you know that that kind of comes with you know his understanding of football and, and my knowledge as well, and just him seeing things on film, me seeing things on film. Uh, but Tim Kelly, uh, the offensive coordinator. Uh, you know, getting him on the same page with us receivers and offensive line. What kind of air yards will put up the, the, those three long ones with three of the longest ten in the league this year? I mean, imagine receivers seeing the potential with that. Just have to be thrilling for the possibilities. Uh, you know, Will Will has an arm. You guys knew that before he got here. Obviously, he's he showing that last game, and uh, you know. We don't really, you know, look in the past. You know, we're we moving on to Pittsburgh, and, you know, they're a good defense. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can go out and have success against those guys. How much do you enjoy being able to help a young quarterback succeed? Um, you know, I enjoy helping any quarterback succeed, young, old. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever, who's ever back there throwing me the ball. Where they stress you the most? Where's your defense stress the most? I mean, they got one of the best guys rushing the, the quarterback in the, in the game, one of the best that has done in a long time, T.J. Watt. So uh, not just him, but, you know, they got guys in the secondary, Patrick Peterson, experienced players as well. So, um, you know, they're, they're all, all around good defense, man. T.J. better than J.J.? You got to ask J.J. that, man. <laughs> you know, that's not a question for me. Last one. Last one. Uh, you know, just going out being reliable, trusting the offense, trusting the scheme. Uh, you know, we're going to go out and do our job. We don't really put an emphasis or, or try to overthink, uh, you know, getting open faster or however you guys say it. Uh, you know, we're all, we're all professional athletes, so we know what we got to do to be successful. At least a little bit about you. Now you face another team on quick track. Yeah, for sure. That's a takeaway that, you know, one that you don't really think about at first. Like, obviously, now it's the first time that there's four quarters of film on me and people might have an idea of what they want to do. So, I mean, not that it's going to change, you know, necessarily how I play, but uh, just something to keep in mind. What was it like, I guess, in the 24 hours after the game and then 
how quickly did you have to just forget about that and focus yeah. on another game? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, um, couldn't really take any time to celebrate. Obviously, like took the moment and uh, enjoyed it with my family and the loved ones who I had with me there. But I mean, like Coach said, our, our mind had to flip to to, our, to Pittsburgh right there at four o'clock on Sunday um, with a quick turnaround. What's that like? I mean, Emotional day, your first NFL start. You're going under the lights now in Pittsburgh. I mean, how, how do you keep it all kind of? Down? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, uh, playing or not, I've had this game circled on schedule just because of how great the environment's going to be. I mean, I know that the, their fans are going to come out and it's going to be a nice environment. So, I mean, we're ready to handle it. And I'm just looking forward to going, taking it all in, and then just uh, doing my thing. How much you feel like your What's confidence is, is like a priority in terms of being a contagious factor? Shoot, yeah, I mean, if you're not confident in yourself, you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. I mean, same goes for just, you know, my confidence with the entire offense. Is it being being the quarterback, you know, you got to make sure that you are you have the right mindset because, you know, guys are going to be looking to you, and you got to pick guys up when they're down and, and keep them neutral when things are up. So uh, it's definitely a big part of the job. Going into that loud stadium, it's, it's a big-time environment. What do you think are some of the challenges that, that you'll be facing? I mean, first first NFL game with this type of environment, uh, so, I mean, definitely something to think about. I've played in loud stadiums before, so I know the challenges that come with it. Uh, just, you know, being clear with your communication, making sure that, you know, our operation and how we're going to handle things and how things might be different compared to a home game, uh, that we're all locked in on that. Um, but the guys have been great so far uh, this week with the reps we've got, and we just got to keep building. With not a lot of practice last week and then going into this week, not a lot of practice with your guys, how are you able to build that rapport so quickly, specifically with a guy like DeAndre? I mean, I just got trust for him. I think they uh, they got trust for me too, and just uh, trusting that we're on the same page and that we're seeing the same things. And uh, obviously, you know, my development as a as a learner of this game is is, is far from over, and I got to keep, keep learning and seeing things more clearly. Um, but... Just if we're clicking like that, we got to make sure we keep going. You know what what's your biggest challenge? Oh, yeah, we definitely got to keep be aware of where 90 is for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, just, you know, we got confidence in our guys that we can take care of them. And um, we're just getting the ball out and knowing what we're going to expect from them defensively. Hopefully, have some things to, to counter it. Well, how how big of a help has yeah. Brian just been, even though he's hurt? Like, there was a video on social media. Like just, uh, I think it was after your fourth touchdown, he was there supporting you. Just having him there as you've kind of had your moment, what what is that yeah. meant? Yeah, no, I mean he's been he's been great. He's been a complete pro about it. I mean he's working his tail off to get back to, to healthy, and everyone's noticing that. Uh, he's been great in the in the, in the uh, meeting rooms, and then obviously on game day, he was there supportive, going through the looks with me, and um, yeah, I mean he's he's been great. This year, is it a mental hurdle that you guys have to clear? Maybe I just need to find a way to win. Um, I mean I don't think is. None more to it, but let's find a way to win on the road. Uh, we know in order to, you know, to build on uh, wins, especially in this league, you have to win on the road. And apparently we haven't done that this year yet. So this will be a great challenge for us. You know, uh, primetime game, get a win on, a, uh, on the road. And, you know, as far as I know, it's going to be a kind of hostile environment as well. Um, it's playing in Pittsburgh. So we have to be ready to... Um, yeah! To handle that road environment, but also just find a way to get a win. Kenny Pinkett just said like he's definitely gonna play. What, what have you seen on film from him? What can you do? Man, he got he got his playmaker. He want to get the ball to um, Kenny Pickett. Um, you know he, which is um, um, a hell of a player. Pickens, I, I met um, George Pickens. Um, 14. Yeah. Um, he, he's a hell of a player, and we know that that's who he want to get the ball to. It. We, um, like I said, start off stopping the run, but. Once we're able to do that, like I said last week, um, I feel very confident in the guys that I um, go out there and rush with. So uh, we're going to work together and be able to get out to him. But, you know, he's, he's also mobile. We have to be able to um, be ready for that. When they do maybe have a design run or if the, if it's not there, he's really not there, we want to move around and maybe scramble. So we all, got, we all got to be on the same page and be ready for that. How do you feel like Harold has come along? The last two games, it looks like he's coming into kind of being the old Harold we've known. Yeah, I mean, we all knew it eventually was going to happen. Um, you know, Harold just, you know, he he knew what it, what it's going to take, um, just his preparation and practicing and all that. So, um, yeah, I'm, you know, happy for him. And, you know, like I said early on, I, I wasn't, you know, worried about, you know, um, especially early on when he wasn't, you know, having the sacks or production he wanted. But, you know, eventually I knew it was going to come. So hopefully he could keep building on from there. Tell us about like you guys had a little extra juice coming off the bye. You feel like you maybe have a, a stretch in you here where this that's the whole point. I, I think that's the whole point of a bye week, you know, especially the way we went into the bye week, you know, um, or two and four. So um, being able to hit that reset button, you know, come back ready to roll and 
like I said, games one's in the trenches, and um, I honestly feel like, you know, when we rushing together, you know, no one can stop us up front. Um, we're on the same page. We playing together. We playing for each other. So, um, yeah, you know, we just gotta get that first one, then we'll be able to roll. Um, but the main thing is just being together, communicating, and make sure that you know we are on the same page. What's been the I guess the key last last week you guys played with a lot of juice mm -hmm. early on the that side. Yeah. What's the key to kind of sustaining that for the full six? Um I think um the main thing is just not letting the, the low parts that we have in the game carry over to, to more plays. You know, if something, something happens, you know, guys on the other team, they get paid to to make plays. So if they make a play, don't dwell on it, you know, snap and clear and move on to the next play. Yeah. Appreciate and, it. And, and who's your favorite rookie? Uh, my favorite rookie right now? Uh, honestly, I'm going to have to go with Kyle Anthony Mark. Kendall. Anthony Kendall. You know, he does, the guy doesn't say too much. You know, he just comes out here and just beats one on one, double team pressing outside. In tackles inside the 20 kickoff. Is there a difference in this locker room right now after coming off a win and sort of getting a new lease on life here? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, guys have um, felt good about last last win. Um, that was a win that you know we needed and that it was a full team win, all, all three phases. Now, Steelers yeah. passing game's a little strange right now. What are you guys preparing for? Who are you preparing um, for? We're preparing for either Pickett or Trubisky, you know, whoever, whoever shows up. Um, we don't think that they're going to change too much from what they do, um, but they're going to definitely get Pickens the ball and Johnson the ball on the outside. Their offense doesn't change much, you think? Um, it probably will. I mean, I think every offense changes here and there, but um, you know, there's not. It's not like going from a running quarterback to a passing quarterback. So we anticipate similar, similar stuff. You guys ready for the environment up there in Pittsburgh? Yeah, yeah. We were there um, two years ago. We played there. It was, it was, it was live. They had the towels going, so it's going to be good energy, and we're going to be ready to go. Awesome. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, you know, I feel like in that game. No one really knew exactly what to expect. It's his first game. Uh, we had practice, but, you know, I know how I was. My first game wasn't how I was acting in practice, per se. Um, but, you know, he had good poise, um, never too high, never too low, uh, and made some good plays. So I think, you know, carrying that into this week and, and these next couple of days of practice is huge for him. As seeing as he's your quarter, he obviously knows the plays and knows how to get you guys in position and stuff. What's, what's it been like as a receiver, it's kind of seeing, figuring out kind of what he wants and where he wants it? Yeah, I mean, that's part of the process, just building chemistry with the quarterback is being on the same page. Um, I think you saw that with Hop, you know, a couple of those plays um, and, and watching that happen, you know, in meetings, figuring out what, you know, what's expected of us and what, what we expect of him. Um, and then our job is just to make it as easy for him as possible when we get out there in the game and make the picture as clear as possible. Did you know you had that MPH in you? What was it, 21.2 you hit, something like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I knew I had it in me. It was just having a chance to be able to do it. Um, so yeah, it was a fun play. Uh, it's been a while since I run that fast, so it's good to, to what is it, and Forrest Gump break those like leg braces off for a little bit. Well, what does it mean though for the offense to hit those plays? I mean, not just what it adds to you, but doesn't it mean the defense now has to look at you completely differently? Yeah, I mean, it opens up the whole playbook. You know, they got to play us a lot more honest. I feel like is is one outcome of it. Uh, so yeah, I feel like it, it just makes us more dynamic and opens everything up. Thursday night football, it doesn't matter what night it is, right? When it's prime time, juices get going a little bit extra for everybody? Yeah, I mean, night games are special here. You don't get a lot of them, uh, like compared to some other teams. So it brings back those childhood memories or those high school memories, I feel like, where you're playing Friday nights. It's kind of similar to that, where there's just something different about a night game. You talk about how it doesn't happen that time here. It seems like in the past, it's kind of been a rallying cry. That like when you get these rare opportunities, this team usually performs on that stage. I mean, yeah, I think guys are hungry to, to be able to perform um, when we do have that opportunity and we know we're the only game on at the time. Uh, so we got to just keep that rolling.